Eagle County was one of the hardest counties hit early on in this outbreak, and now it is set to be the first to roll back some of the extreme social distancing requirements. Matt Croshill live near Summit County, and Matt, I'm sure a lot of people there would like to do the same thing. So why is Eagle County ready to do this? Well, what's the difference? You know, Dom, Eagle County was the first in the state to declare a disaster declaration. That allowed their officials to get an early start on gathering up enough PPE and testing for the people that live in Eagle County. Officials there say they have seen a reduction in the number of cases, new cases coming in, and they feel confident that they can control and manage the cases that they do see in the next couple of weeks and months. That's our request to the state. And Governor Jared Polis made a virtual visit to Eagle County Thursday, approving the county's request to roll back some of their stay at home orders there, marking the first in the state to do so. We're able to test all people who have. And that is the key difference, allowing Eagle County to begin to roll back some of the stay at home orders. Everybody stepped up uh, to get. Uh, the valley through this crisis. It will allow some businesses to reopen with restrictions in place. Uh, we're moving from the, the fear and uncertainty stage into the into the planning and process stage. And as we move from fear and uncertainty towards planning and process, it's, it reinforces kind of the entrepreneurial spirit of, of this community. Chris Romer with the Vale Valley Partnership says the dark days they've faced so far have allowed this community to come together and work on a plan for moving forward. Kind of a bootstraps mentality that this community has had for a long time. This signals some things returning, but this isn't going to be business as usual. Visitors are still being asked to stay away for now. Yeah, the vibe is uh, cautious optimism. Eagle County will now, uh, starting Monday, allow gatherings up to 10 people. They are still asking people to maintain six feet social distancing and to wear masks and gloves for people at different businesses there. Definitely some improvements for people living in Eagle County, but again, they are asking visitors to stay away. Reporting in Summit County for the last time, I'm Matt Kroschel covering Colorado First. Matt.